if you look at Europe, for example, we had this issue with the horse meat scandal last year. That was a pretty interesting case because it's not only about food safety. We are always talking about food safety, but in this specific case, it's more like food fraud. They re were exporting horse meat from Romania and other countries, brought it into different transportation ways to the Netherlands, minced the meat, sold it to producer for lasagna. So actually, at, at the end of the day, what to save money. So they, it was really a criminal act. It was not on the declaration, so you didn't find it on the ingredients list. So that was the real scandal. So it's not an issue eating horse meat, but the consumer wants to know what they want to eat. I think what we learned in Europe in terms of this scandal was really to have a deeper look in food fraud. We need to go more in the direction of food authenticity and food fraud. That makes a lot of sense. Really to look, okay, what kind of food do we eat at the end of the day? What is the declaration on the food labeling? That's very important.